spectacular weekend full of Halloween crafting fun. I'm really excited to have you with me today. I hope you've joined um, this video and you can watch me start off the first project. I've got an entire weekend lined up full of Halloween themed projects, tips and sort of ideas to get you into the spooky spirit. Halloween's not far off. And to kick, kick things off today, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy mini album using your old Project Life pocket cards and some Halloween themed paper and the laminator and binding rings and of course embellishments and a bit of bling and sparkle. So um, the first thing we're going to, to do, I'm just going to show you these little albums I've, I've made using the uh, 3x4 pocket cards. Um, one's obviously a girly one, this one is more of a boy, and this one is supposed to be um, baby but it's not finished. I've just created the, the actual album and I haven't decorated it yet. And what what, that, what this basically is, is just the, pocket, the old Project Life pocket cards. I've uh, chosen um, cards that go with the theme and punched holes in them. I've actually laminated the covers, the front and back, and then just put it all together added some embellishments and I haven't added photos yet but um, just about to do that uh, very soon is try and get some photos into the albums. This one still needs a few 3x4 cards inside. This one's uh, quite thick already so it won't need um, um, anything else. You can see I've decorated it uh, little books with um, like photo mounts and um, sayings, this is uh, the boy sayings, so this is definitely a boy album. And just finished it off with some ribbon and twine. But this little tie here is the tie that ties it up. So the Halloween one I'm going to make today is going to be very similar to those. And all I'm going to use is uh, the Project Life, mm -hmm. out, out of the way. So I'll be using the, the Project Life cards, which I'll go through. And I'm going to choose some cards that actually go uh, with the Halloween theme. So I'm looking for the oranges and the purples and, you know, those bright greens and things like that. Those colours. And I'm also going to be using um, these papers from Simple Stories that I still have in my Halloween stash. They are the cut apart 6x4 and 3x4. And they are double sided, so that's good. So I'll be cutting all those up. And I also have some um, old paper here, um, orange, there's oranges and yellows um, and like a dark a black and a brown. So I'll pick some of those out and I'll be cutting some of those up as well. So I really want to use these, these papers up. And the last thing I've got here is my container full of, just put that to the side, my container full of Halloween, what I've got left of Halloween. So I've got stickers and um, just uh, like bits and pieces. I've got ribbon. So um, if you're like me, you keep um, like theme together. Um, so specifically Halloween and Christmas and Easter and those sorts of collections or whatever I've got going to a container. So I'll be trying to use um, some of this up that's in here as well. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut up the cards. Um, so I'm going to get these cards and I'm going to cut them up and um, then I'll be back. So I've cut up the pocket cards. I've got my 6x4 cards cut up and I'm going to ink them soon. Um, I've got the 4x4s cut up. I've chosen some um, of the pocket cards, the 6x4 and the 3x4. Now it doesn't matter, I'm not necessarily going to be using both sides, so it doesn't matter if I like one side and I don't like the other, I'll be covering the other side up. So don't worry, just pick the cards with one side, at least it um, matches the project that you're working on. And I actually found these in this in my Halloween stash. They are from the same collection, but they were the, the 3x4 cut apart. So I'm going to be using those. And with this paper, um, I thought I might use a paper to make some flips so I can actually have more photos and create some flip outs. So I'm not going to be cutting that up just yet. I'm going to put that aside. Uh, I've also kept the strips um, from the paper in case I use those. 
So the first thing I'm going to do now is ink the edges of my papers. Uh, just to get rid of some of those, um, you know, those rough white edges. I've got a Distress Oxide. Um, it's a dusty Concord and I've got a blending brush. So I'm just going to quickly um, ink the edges because I don't, I don't want this white to show. I'm just going to quickly ink those. Um, and then I'll be back uh, with the next few steps. So I'm going to continue working on matting all the cards. So I've got um, all my cards back to back. So I've got a front and a back. So this particular one just has the paper. I've cut the paper to size, the scrap paper that I was referring to before. And I've placed it at the back. So that one will be um, adhered together. I might even keep a little bit open and make a pocket so I can slide a tag in into it. Um, and I've measured uh, the six by four, but some of them are a little bit out. So I'm gonna tidy up the edges a little bit because you can see that that's just a little bit too big. So it's just a matter of going through, matching up um, your cards with a back. They don't all have to have a back. So for instance, this card, I might leave as is but because this is the back of the paper I don't want um, like five backs of the same paper so this is where I'm going to bring in either another pocket card to place here or a six by four card to cover that up you can either adhere it completely or adhere part of it and create a space for a tag the same with the 4x4s, so this particular 4x4 card, I've cut a back in a, like a burgundy colour, which sort of matches the hair, the orange hair there. So I'm still working through the 3x4s. Some of the, um, you might come across, say for instance, this card, um, so I'll be keeping this side and, and adhering this card to the back of the simple stories paper but I'll probably then obviously cover up because this says story of us uh, it's and it's not going to be it's going to be a Halloween kids a mini album so I'm going to probably layer a, um, a piece down here to create a little pocket so it cuts off the word of us and just has the story and I'll add some embellishments on there so it's really just a matter of working through your 6x4 cards and your 4x4 cards and your 3x4 cards and you can back them um, up to each other to create the pockets or you can just leave them single so in these mini albums I've just left them all single and I've just chosen the boy themed cards and then added um, the, the dimensional photo mats and the stickers and the die cuts and things so it doesn't really matter which way you do it um, but you're just going to be working through mat match matching them up to a front and a back that you're happy with. Uh, so this one's got the same front and the same back and it's green and it, and it goes with this card. So that's going to be one, obviously one card. This is going to be two and this will be sort of like a page three. And then I'm just going to be continuing. This is a page four over here. So some of them need a little bit of tidying up. I've also rounded all the corners. The Project Life cards are rounded already. So it made sense to round off my, um, my corners of my papers and um, the simple stories uh, cut apart. Again, this one is the ticket site paper, which I don't want multiples of. So I'm going to back that one together. Probably create a pocket. And now I've got this one over here, which is Happy Halloween with the orange background. And this one definitely needs a bit of a trim to make sure that it's matching uh, exactly. And I've got three by four cards to go through. I'm going to keep all my small pieces to create little pockets. They all need to be inked as well. And 
So it's just a matter of yeah, just mat matting them all up, matching matching them up with a back. Because uh, obviously this back is the like the fire. I don't know what the fireworks or just a uh, little design there. We don't want like the same page of all those. So obviously that needs a back. Yeah, I haven't decided which one will be the, the front yet of the album. That's um, something else I need to decide. What what will I keep as a front and what will I keep uh, as the back? So I've really got to decide which one's my back is going to be. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to finish off matting them and matching them up uh, to... So they've all got fronts and backs. And once I've made a decision about all of them, I'm going to adhere them together, if that's what I need to do. And some will be left with, just to recap, some will be left with um, some space so I can add a tag to create a pockets. And the other thing I'm going to do is think about what page I might want to add a flip or two. So that means, means that when I open up the album, I'll be able to flip it out. And that sort of allows me to create some more uh, space for photos and things yeah so yes i'll be back soon and um, i'll show you all the cards that i've um, like matched up together so they all should all have um, a front and a back so i've inked my uh, cards now and i've backed them uh, with adhesive and double up the front and back so i've got the cards and some of the papers double-sided. I ended up cutting this particular card up and using the outline of this shape as a page. So all these cards here are going to be my six bought by four cards. So there's going to be there's five there and I've actually now laminated my covers. So I'm going to make this the back. It says Happy Halloween. And the front, I've just laminated the plain paper because a lot of the cards were a bit busy and I want to decorate the front of the little album myself. So I've just basically um, laminated the one sheet of paper. So this is my back and this is my front. And I've got five six by four cards. I've also double up some of the three by fours. What have I got here? I've got... Uh, three of those. I haven't stuck one of the edges down on some of those so I can have a pocket and then I've got my four by fours done. So they're all double sided um, with different backs. These two have the same. I'm not going to be too worried about that because they're going to be split up and I also laminated one of the three by four cards as well just to I had space in the sheet of laminating paper so I thought I'd use the space up. So now that we've got all our pages ready, I'm going to start by decorating the front, which is this particular, just this one here. And I've got some in my embellishments. I'm just going to get some of my things out. Um, so I've got this Halloween cut apart on the website I've printed one of these off and I've used I'm going to use some of the sentiments from the cut apart so I've cut these two I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet um, and I also cut this one that one's actually been laminated as well and I also cut these ones as well so they're my uh, the ones I've already cut from this printable here and when I decorate the inside of the album, I'll probably use more of those. So I'll put them to the side. Now I had this embellishment here from a card that I found in my stash. And I have, um, what I done with that? I've got this like, I think it's bandage from a Halloween decoration. Just that, uh, I don't know, mummy bandages or something. So I'm going to use some of that. I've cut a piece up and so at the moment that's probably what I'm going to start 
to do is just layer some of this and see which way I might like it. This is really cute. It's the witch with the, the dangly pumpkin. I hope you can see that. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of I guess, choosing what you want on the front and then going from there. So I'll probably put, put this down here, maybe there, and another sentiment down here. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna keep fiddling around with these. Um, don't want too many words on the front. I do have some other Halloween stickers. I'm just gonna find them. Um, I've got these stickers as well. Probably not much good for the front of the album. But let's see, I've got this little arrow. Which is okay um but it's probably may not go so yeah i'm just going to fiddle around a little bit more and get that finished but that's basically going to be my, my front and um and then i'm going to work on the pages so i've finished the album now um it's all decorated i'll just explain a little bit about how i put it together which is just basically just punching holes into each of the pages so i've bound it with the three rings um i did want to use black but i don't have black rings so i've gone for the light purple it's really the only sort of colors i had uh, but i might swap it out a bit later for black but yeah just punch holes in the um the pages in the three by four so you can just punch the two holes the same with the four by four and you can either put them up the top or down the bottom so mine is sort of a mix um, between top and bottom. Um, also, um, I've matted uh, some of the pages already and add, the, add die cuts and decorations. So it's really sort of nearly ready to go. And I've left a few play, um, pages um, like that still need a few work. And as I get the photos from this year's Halloween, I'll sort of finish those last few pages off. So yeah, it's a really quick and easy album to make um, by using up your project life cards and even just sort of um, scrap papers that, uh, where the colour matches uh, the theme of Halloween or, or any particular theme really. Um, some of you know I like to use all my bits up, all my scraps up, uh, and I don't <laughs> throw a lot away. So yeah, that's that little mini album. Uh, it's the fourth one I've made. Um, so they're the other other ones I showed you earlier and I'm just working on this this last one here um, which is another little a girly one so I've laminated the the covers already I've decorated the front of this cover and I've just added um, some papers and cards oh, that one's around the wrong way yeah um, it's ready to be bound with rings or which whichever I choose however I choose to oops bind it so yeah, I hope this gives you some really good um, inspiration to use up your, um, your cards. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a great, great crafty time. Bye.